Hey love bucks, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, you know, just thank you for being you. You know, you send out love and light towards me as I do the same for you. And, you know, go ahead and and send that out to others as well you never know who might need it so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already what are you waiting for like and subscribe even hit that notification bell at the bottom so you know when i'm about to upload my next video and if you are comfortable enough please go ahead and drop me a line or two i love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up telling me about your empathic gift and how it impacted your life and hitting you towards a positive direction. And if you feel uh, if you feel like the, the video you heard it had good vibes or just had good information you would love to share with a loved one or friend, please go ahead and do so. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and even share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. And once again, thank you so much for stopping by the channel and showing me love and support. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And today... I'm listening to this is a beautiful meditation, especially because it got Buddha on the front of it, anyways. So it's called Good Night, um, Good Night Music, 432 Hertz. Manifest miracles while you sleep. Wake up to the new you. Heal sleeping, healing sleep. sleep. And I will post that link in the description box below. And today my video is about Twin Flame 101. Uh, hey, Ocus, remember. No strong person has ever had an easy path. Uh, I know you probably know that. You know, it's nobody is, you know, when they when they have got, they had to go through success or go through different things. Um, nobody had a really easy life. Like, I know I didn't. And it's just a blessing when I can be able to use my traumatic experience in a, a positive way. You know, to let people know, hey, this is my story. You know, this is what I went through. But, you know, I'm, you know, I'm getting through it. You know, I'm not going to have all my good days. I'm not, you know, but I know I'm going to have a lot of positive days. But it's just like, even on those low moments, you have to seek out the beautiful parts in it. And there's sometimes we, we forget to do that. We forget to show gratitude to the universe of, you know, even though it's a messed up day, you know, we have to be grateful for the things we do have in our life. Because I know with myself, I don't know about you, you know, when we can get into that pissy moment, instead of being, you know, telling God or universe, thank you for bringing this into my life or that into my life, we'll tend to complain about the things we don't have. Which is not good, because they'll keep you pushed back from your blessings as well. If you keep on talking about, oh, well, I don't have this, I don't have that, you know, because it's just like, you know, I can sit up here and say about my car, my car is raggedy. I have to think about it, you know what, God bless me with a car. Even though it might not be the best car in the world, but it gets me to where I have to go. I might not like my house, but it's just the fact is, I have to be blessed and say, you know what, God, thank you for this house. It might not be the glamorous house, but, you know, there's so many people out there living on the street, and it's cold right now. You know, people are living under bridges, you know, sleeping in their cars. You know, nobody has an easy life. You know, we can sit up here and, you know, look at the things that, you know, uh, like me, I could be looking at a different YouTuber and talk about, um, okay, dag, they don't put a video up, and... It, it could be like 30 minutes the next thing you know they have like about three or four million views already i'm like god dog i can't even get that many you know i'll be lucky if i get 50 within a hour you know a couple of hours you know but i i, I gotta be grateful for the things that i have because you know i had to crawl before i walk and you know it's validation when you know i can hear people tell me it's just a beautiful thing that i'm doing you're you know you're so strong i wasn't always like this it wasn't always like this. You know, I still have my weak moments. I still go through time, you know, thinking about my dad at times. Y'all even see me get emotional the other day, which I hate doing. But it's just like I said, you know, nobody has a good day. But it's, it's like, especially with my extended family, I don't want to sugarcoat nothing. I don't want to make it seem like, you know, hey, I'm taking a volume every day. So every day is pretty. Every, every day is rainbow and roses. You know, there's days I feel like life is unfair. You know, I feel like, why did I have to go through this? But it's just like, I knew I had to be broke down. I had to go through things. So I had that story to tell because there's so many empaths that are going through things. It's just us being empaths is enough 
to just make somebody want to pull their hair out. That's not an easy thing, especially when you're dealing with different energies coming in. You could be having a good day, but it's just like as soon as you pass by somebody with that strong energy of negativity, it can really bring you low and you have to be able to you know, separate that and say, you know what, this is not my, my energy. This is not something I'm bringing in. You know, when we're, we're grateful for the little things we have in life, be, you know, show the universe gratitude for the things you, you have in your life because you always know. It, it's just like I always tell tell people, and I've even heard it many times before, we complain about the things in our life and the things that are going on, the things that, you know, we can't change. But, you know, if you, there was like 20 or 30 people that threw all their issues and stuff on the table. Are you going to pick somebody else's? You're going to pick yours. Because I guarantee you, you might not be able to make it through somebody else's, you know, situation. So it's just like, I have to keep t catching myself like, you know, God, I'm sorry. Or universe, I'm sorry for acting this way. You know, you when you show more gratitude, you know, to the universe for the things that you're blessed with. And the gratitude of the things that you do have. Because it's just the fact that you didn't have to wake up this morning. You know, I hate when I get on YouTube and I see people that are constantly putting themselves down. I'm like, you need to you need to love yourself. Like I hear people like, oh, I wish I found somebody to love me. But if you don't love yourself, you're not going to find that loved one. You're not going to find that true love. You know, I said I'm content right now. We're not, you know, I love being celibate. I love to be abstinent. But it's just like when I can see a lot of people that are just dating people for the wrong reasons because they don't, they don't feel worthy of their self. They don't like being alone. I used to be that type of person that I can be mad and I would, you know, go through things and um, use, you know, I, I would have sex just to be, you know, get my frustration out. Like, okay, I'm going to work this out. You know, not to be personal or anything like, oh, God, Rosalyn, you said that. But, you know, there's so, a lot of people that do that. They will use sex to you know, make them feel wanted, make them feel important, or, you know, go through things and they feel frustrated, so they want to have, you know, a little quickie or whatever, but it's just like, you have to know your worth, you have to go about life like, okay, you know, if I want this in life, you know, some people are comfortable being, you know, out there like that, you know, to each his own, but I know what my worth is, you know, there's too many diseases and stuff out here, there's certain things that, you know, they haven't even got names for yet, I don't need nothing like that. I'll just, I'll just wait <laughs> for my love life. You know, I'll just wait because I feel like if I'm waiting and I know my worth and I know the things that I'm not going to accept and the things that I will accept, you know, if, if would I date me right now? Yeah, I would date myself, but I know myself is complex. <laughs> so I'm just like, I love myself. So I can be able to wait because when I can see all the other people that do their thing like that, I'm just like, you know what, Lord, thank you for, you know, <laughs> allowing me to be the way I am. You know, I sound good because it's just like, I don't need another person to complete me, even though that would be a bonus to be with somebody. But after the narcissistic, you know, relationship I was in, it made me really look at being with somebody in a totally different way. You know, seeing the things that other people do. And I'm just like, there ain't no way. <laughs> there is no way. You know, I've seen people be with somebody because they were lonely. They don't like being alone. But it's just the fact is when you know your worth and you know what, you know, you're being with somebody for a good reason because you want to love somebody or you want them to love you back, even though you should be able to love yourself first. But, you know, just know that any person that, you know, got things going for them, you know, you see all these other people and, you know, I, I used to see people get upset about certain things that people had but you never know what this person had to go through you never know what kind of journey they had to endure just to get that way you know and you'll be surprised if some you know because it's just like with well, my situation you know I hear a lot of people tell me I'm, I'm a strong person it I mean the I got my moments. <laughs> I got my moments and I can admit that flaw. I can admit that because it's just like you go through so many different things when you have to be strong when strong is all you have. You know, I have my moments where I cry, I get, I get upset and, you know, wonder why things go the way they go. But I know there's reason behind everything I have. You know, if I didn't go through the things I was going through, I would have never knew who I was, who I was becoming, what I'm about to become. You know, I see myself doing big and better things. And it's just like, I'm, I don't know how it's going to get there. I don't know how I'm going to do it. But it's just like, I'm going to keep doing me. Keep bettering myself. You know, knowing I'm a strong person. You know, 
heal from the things that I need to heal from, let go of the things I need to let go of. So it's just like when we're going through things and, you know, you have to be patient with yourself, you know, love yourself, know, know how you value yourself. And it's just like, just, just so you know, it's just like when you feel like, oh, I'm not that strong person or oh, I'm not that, you have to look at the things that you've been through in life. You never thought you were going to get over. You know, there's times in your life where you've probably been, you know, abused, neglected, you know, emotionally abused, mentally abused. You know, a lot of us empaths has, has went through stuff like that. And we never thought we were going to get through things. And then you end up, you know, it takes time because it's just like when you can look at yourself now, this is a new year. You have to look at the things that you've been through in those days and you, you're like, okay, well, I guess I am strong. I've been through this and I didn't think I was going to get through it. So no, it just takes time for you to be able to get through things to get to it. Be patient with yourself. Have that self-love. Have that self-respect. And then you'll, you'll have people come towards you that loves you just the same. And you know, if they don't love you just the same like that, you know what to do. Wave them five fingers together and say bye. So, you know, go when you go through the things go through it but heal from it too and let it go and I know I'm, I'm telling myself that same thing I have to tell myself every day be grateful for the things you go through be grateful for you being hurt because it made you a stronger person like I tell people all the time your traumatic experiences can bring out a positive outcome so just be patient so I hope you are able to resonate with the content of this video I hope everybody has a blessed safe weekend because I forgot by the time y'all see this is going to be Friday so have a blessed safe weekend much love to y'all love y'all so much and thank you so much for the love and support and you know drop me a line i love a chance to get to know you and like and subscribe and even share the video and you know let me know that you hit the notification button so i can give you a shout out and to let me see uh my shout out goes to Juan. uh uh, Anaya, I think that's your last name. I promise. Oh, I apologize if I messed your last name up. But much love to you. Thank you for the beautiful comments that you left me today. And I will talk to y'all later. Know that you are truly blessed, forever loved, and knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days. And I will see you in my next video. Much love, peace, and be wild.